frozen section, I'm going to tell you about amazing foods hiding in the frozen section of your health food store. Everybody wants to talk about ice cream. Do you know anyone who doesn't like ice cream? We have so many options these days to do dairy-free ice cream. We have coconut and cashew-based ice cream that you can look for in your health food store. Just give yourself your own tour. Go there, plan for an hour, read the labels, see what's in there. Now that you know what you're looking for, they make coconut water sorbet now. If you are going to get a sweet treat, you wanna look for naturally sweetened. If, if they have sugar, at least look for organic cane sugar. Or a lot of times you'll be able to find coconut sugar or palm sugar sweetened ice cream and sorbets in your health food store. And that way you're getting a sweet treat. You're not compromising anything, but you're not getting a negative interaction in your body. Coconut Bliss, this is a coconut-based ice cream that uses agave as a sweetener, which is a little lower glycemic, although I really prefer, much prefer the coconut sugar to agave. It's tasty and it doesn't feel like any kind of compromise or sacrifice, and your belly will be happier with this. Ice cream, they make bars for kids. We move here. Frozen berries are always in my cart for smoothies. But then here we go for acai. Acai bowls are very big in Southern California. Acai is a superfood berry that comes from Brazil. You always want to find unsweetened packets and you can make an acai bowl by just defrosting a couple of packets, blending it with almond milk and a banana, and it's a great vehicle for the superfoods we talked about, like adding bee pollen on top, adding chia seeds on top, adding some goji berries, and this is a great way to get a superfood. It's very high on the ORAC scale, the oxygen radical absorption capacity scale. What does that mean? It means that it is so high in antioxidants that it can help your body with the aging process and the inflammation process. All right, for my paleo primal people, here are two amazing foods in your frozen section. Bison, which is highly supportive, those omega-3s I told you about. It's gonna support your organ health, and so is liver. I'm not a big fan of eating liver. I take it in supplement form, but modern science has now confirmed that eating grass-fed beef liver supports our own liver function. Loaded with mitochondria, powerful energy to support your liver. If you can stomach it, if you can't, they make plenty of wonderful supplements for grass-fed beef liver. Hippocrates is the father of natural medicine and 3,000 years ago he said, let food be thy medicine, let medicine be thy food. He also said, all disease begins in the gut. So using healing bone broth is the single best way to use food as medicine and to start healing your gut. This medicinal bone broth that you can find pretty much now everywhere, it's not gonna be the watery chicken bone broth that you find in the middle aisles of the store. It's thick and it's gelatinous and it comes from pasture-raised cows, pasture-raised chickens, they also make fish broth. And the secret, just like our great-grandmothers used to do, is the longer you cook it, the more healthy it is for you. So 24 hours, if you can find it's pure water, where they're using purified water and they're cooking it for 24 hours, it's gonna have a lot more collagen that is gonna help to heal your gut. And drinking bone broth on a regular basis can help heal your hormones 30 to 50% faster. So getting bone broth in your diet is a wonderful way to improve your health. Veggie burgers are not created equal. You want to make sure that your veggie burgers do not contain soy. You're not gonna use any soy, promise me. No soy in your veggie burgers. You can get veggie burgers that are very healthy, that are sunflower seed based, that are quinoa based, that are hemp based. So look at your ingredients and make sure that they are whole foods, not too many of those oils, no maltodextrin. It should just be whole foods that you know what they are and spices. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for veggie burgers. They've evolved so much in the last couple of years.